All right, this is a, a walkthrough for the uh, for how you enter in your data and do the calculations for lab 13, the pH lab. Um, here is the main screen for uh, the Chem 21 site, and you should be familiar with this. You go down to login as a student, and you'll enter in your username and password, which I've already done, and then view assignments list, and there are uh, some TRQs and such for uh, 12 and 13. Click on the um, <coughs> pH determination, lab 13, and what you end up with is this sheet here. Okay, Now it starts out and it's letting you enter in your data. So this is your observed pH for each of these solutions. You have your original solution of the HCl, then you diluted it three times um, and observes your pH. Did the same with the NaOH. And so I'm just going to enter in some random data and uh, and then we'll use that for um, whoop. Okay. All right, so now I have all of the uh, data entered here, and then you scroll down to the bottom, and there's a button to say continue, okay? So if I click continue there, um, now here is the data that I just entered, and it wants me to confirm that, okay? So I look at these, I verify them with my sheet, and then down at the bottom, it says confirm, okay? Or if there's a problem with it, then click on re-enter data. But if I click confirm, um, now it lets me go to the calculation part and it'll open each one of those um, up uh, separately, okay? So now for the calculation, it says what is the calculated pH? Okay, this is what I observed, but what, what uh, would I calculate? All right, so that's where we look at this 0.01 molar HCl, and we want to calculate its pH. So let's uh, just look at this and um, see what we get. So the equation for uh, pH, for calculating the pH, is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. All right. That's something you'll want to have memorized. Okay, so the um, the hydrogen ion concentration, we use the brackets, they denote concentration. All right, um, and that is in molarity. Okay, which is what we're given. We're given that as a 0.01 molar HCl solution. Okay, that that's a strong acid, which means it's 100% ionized. Okay, Being 100% ionized, what that means is that HCl becomes H plus and Cl minus. Once I put that in water, there's really no more HCl. It's H plus and Cl minus. Okay? But the concentration is still the same. So in effect, because this is a strong acid, because it's 100% ionized, my 0.01 molar is 0.01 molar H+, plus, which means that's what I'm going to use there. So to calculate the pH, it's going to be the negative log of the H plus concentration, which is 0.01 molar. Okay, so the negative log of 0.01 is what? Okay, so let's, uh, you know, if you know something about logs, you might be able to answer this question. But uh, let's assume we don't. There's a handy program uh, for a calculator on the computer. If you don't have a real one handy, you can go to All Programs, and then up at the top is Accessories. And under Accessories, there is Calculator. You click on Calculator and yours will probably come up looking like this okay just a basic uh, calculator 
but we need a little bit more than that. All right, we need to have a uh, log function, and this one is just arithmetic and stuff like that. So if you go to view and click on scientific, all right, now it gives you more options over here, and among these buttons is the log, and that's what we're going to be using. Okay, so um, we'll put in our uh, point zero 0.01, that's our concentration, 0.01 molar, and we need to take the negative log of that. So the log of 0.01, okay, is negative 2. The negative log, we can do this plus minus or just take off that sign, it becomes 2. Alright, so that's the negative log of 0.01 is 2. Okay, so uh, sometimes like this, it's it's easy enough that we can do it in our head if you know how the log works. Um, but uh, but if not, you can do it on the calculator. Or if it's some other number than a nice number like that, then uh, you may need to do it on the calculator also. All right, so. Um, so that's how we calculate the pH. Negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. And we get 2. So let's go ahead and put that in to our uh, field for calculating the pH. Put in 2. So click on submit or I press enter and it does it automatically. And you'll notice um, over here it says calculation correct. Okay. So I can just click on this little link, click here for the next problem, and then it takes me, um, it takes me over to the next, uh, the next field there. All right.